What's up guys, Murder Birds here, and today my very first video ever, my very first platinum trophy from my PlayStation 3 account. Um, as you guys probably saw, you guys saw the two trophies that popped at the beginning, and due to the theme, as you guys can see here, this is going to be on Kingdom Hearts Final Mix. If any of you guys are wondering, uh, I got this dynamic theme from pre-ordering Kingdom Hearts uh, HD 1.5 Remix. Uh, on you know from GameStop so just so you guys know but anyways this video is to commemorate the month and a half that I spent playing Kingdom Hearts Final Mix for the PlayStation 3 uh, I am infatuated with Kingdom Hearts I love everything about it as you can see here 100% completion uh, got my platinum very first platinum ever I'm extremely proud extremely excited you probably can't really see it that well because of the background but um but yeah like uh, I've been playing this game for a month and a half straight, trying to just finish it, trying to complete it, get my first completion. I'm really big into the Kingdom Hearts franchise and the series as a whole. Uh, I've been playing since PS2 days. The only two that I haven't played were um, Birth by Sleep and 3DS, which 3DS is just recently new, came out last year. But yeah, um, as you guys probably do or don't know, I am particularly a gamer score achievement hunter. I play primarily on 360. Uh, and I have a goal of reaching a hundred thousand gamer score, but I thought I'd venture into the realm of trophies. You know, they're nothing out of the ordinary when it comes to achievements and stuff like that. And you know, I didn't want to particularly pick like a game to to platinum that you know was multi-platform or something too easy. Kingdom Hearts is an RPG. RPGs are some of my favorite are my favorite genres in gaming. And you know, I love the series uh, as a whole. I can probably even say it's one of my favorite overall. Um, but yeah, so, um, just getting back into the trophies a bit, uh, Kingdom Hearts, this was actually a very, it was grindy, but it was nothing that felt like a chore to me, um, the only thing that felt kind of chory was the fact that the difficulties didn't stack, so you had to beat the game on proud mode, final mix mode, and beginner mode, which was kind of a pain, um, my first playthrough that I played was on final mix, that was my initial playthrough, uh, it took me about 67, 68 hours to complete, and I got majority of the achievement, I'm um, sorry, majority of the trophies. I uh, hit level 100. I did all of the secret boss battles, got all of the collectibles, you know, the Dalmatians, the Trinities, the Gummies, um, and stuff like that. Did all of the battles in the Coliseum and all that stuff. So that first playthrough was really awesome. I got to experience some really cool boss battles that I didn't get to experience in the American version on the PS2. Uh, fighting Xemnas, as well as those unique gummy missions and those unique Heartless that were in each world, so that was pretty cool. Uh, my second playthrough, I played on Beginner, uh, which was a, a seven and a half, almost eight hour playthrough. Um, had to beat the game in under 15 hours for this achievement, the Speedster achievement. Uh, also, I also took on the role of not dying in that playthrough, as well as beating the game without switching Keyblades. Uh, switching stabs or shields for Donald and Goofy, and I couldn't have any other uh, accessories equipped. So that was pretty challenging as well. The beginning part was easy, but towards the end it was getting a bit, you know, frustrating, but nothing serious. And then my final playthrough was on proud mode. I just had to go through my proud playthrough, but overall the entire game was a freaking blast. I mean, I never played Final Mix, like I said, and I was so jealous of people in Japan who got the game and got to play, you know, the quote-unquote full Kingdom Hearts experience. And now that I was actually able to, it was just so fun. Got that Sephiroth battle. That Sephiroth battle was so freaking, like, insane. Um, maxed out at level 100, you know. All of these achievements. Also, there's miscellaneous ones as well. But got most of them and I think it, I don't know if it's kind of annoying you guys or not but you know the the Kingdom Hearts sound effects that come with this dynamic theme are pretty fresh too but yeah I mean my very first platinum on PlayStation ever um uh, sorry going back in here real quick uh going into a little bit more realm of Kingdom Hearts I also have Kingdom Hearts 358 dash two days it also came with the Kingdom Hearts uh uh remix uh, collection, um, as you can see here, it also has, it only has three, uh, three platinum, I'm sorry, three gold and three bronze, uh, it's a cinematic HD movie, uh, I also have the game on the DS, so I did play that game, experience that game, and, uh, the next game I'm actually gonna try to go for my platinum is Kingdom Hearts Rechain of Memories, which is gonna be a bit of a grind, because that's six playthroughs amongst Sora and Riku, but, uh, yeah, I just, 
putting out this video just to show, you know, people that I'm into, like, the Kingdom Hearts, you know, genre, uh, you know, the aspects of Kingdom Hearts and stuff like that. It's one of my favorite. I love the story progression. I love the, you know, the character development, the story overall, the unique story, the nostalgia of these, you know, Disney movies that I grew up watching as a kid, as well as the overall, the gameplay. The gameplay is pl pretty solid as well. Uh, the game wasn't a chore for me. I didn't feel, you know, like I was, you know, I had to do any of this stuff. It's just the fact that I love Kingdom Hearts and I love this, the universe. And, you know, I did all this stuff back in PS2 before trophies and gamer score and achievements were even around. So I thought it was pretty cool that I can actually, you know, if someone goes on my on my account, they can actually see that I actually worked really hard for these. But, uh, but yeah, guys, let me know what you guys, you know, how you guys felt about the video. Did you guys, you know, I, you know, I, I mean, I got some congratulations, but, you know, do you, are you guys into game score or even achievements or trophies or whatever? Uh, just hit level five also, if you can see here. You know, I have very little games. I picked up my PlayStation 3 around the time The Last of Us came out. But, uh, yeah, let me know what you guys thought about this video in the comments down below. Also, be sure to like the video if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you're new to my channel if you want to get into some uh, other content that I, that I dip into. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. And as always, take care, guys. Peace.